Hi, this is Vishnu. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use JavaScript for file upload validation to include only file uh, type of images in the folder and uh, for everything else we're going to discard it uh, that is using the JavaScript on the client side. So let's begin. Let's create a new project. It's going to be an empty web application so let's rename it JavaScript validation for images so this is my project let's create let's add a, a web form so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one file upload and one button so the design looks like this so here whatever the user browses and once he does the file upload then we are going to then we are going to insert that uh, file into the folder if it is a uh, suitable file type otherwise we are going to discard it so let's do one thing before this uh, let's add name it as can upload and so So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write one JavaScript. I'm going to write here one JavaScript function that checks the extension of the file and uploads only the images type. So um, let's check input extension. Now create one file name that holds a file uploaded by the user so document.kit element by id so what is the name of the file upload this is a file upload one so we are trying to get the value so it will get the uh, file name which is uploaded so now file name has the file uploaded so let's alert the file name first so I'm going to debug it I'm going to run it once and see what uh, it will be alerting so I'm choosing a file suppose I select cover letter so what it is uploading see what I forgot here is I have to invoke this method on client click so on client click I'm going to write return now only I'm going to um, I'll be able to invoke this method on client key I've included that this one so I'm going to read on it so let's cover letter I let's choose it so see here I am getting one uh, file name uh, along with the file path so let's proceed so we are in the correct path so now I am going to choose if file name equal to equal to empty so if it is empty what I am going to do is I am going to alert please select file so it is going to be my first alert else now here I'm going to do the actual uh, actual computation for the extension. So extension is going to be file name dot substring. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to take the value. I'm going to take the part of the string which is uh, from the file which has dot extension. So basically uh, I've already typed the code and I'm going to show you how it is done. So So what I've done is I have the file name and I'll try to sub string from the last index of the dot. So last index of dot gives uh, last index of dot gives the last value that is dot jpg. So we are going to take the dot after that and uh, after that dot whatever comes that is jpg or png or whatever other values we are going to take it and convert it to lower string. So 
if our extension is jpg or if our extension is jpg or png or png or if it is going to be suppose something called bmp so we are going to include it so let's uh, allow only these three extensions for now jpg png and bmp if it is if it is uh, if the extensions are jpg png and bmp then it is file name is good to go else what we have to do is we have to alert invalid file for images because we are only trying to insert images and and we have to empty the file upload value so then we are going to copy this and make it to empty and we are going to return false because we don't want it to go to the server side here also we have to go to return false so now what I'm going to do is if it is success so if it is success then we have to insert it into the folder so let's go here and create one folder of image let's remove it images so what I'm going to do here is if file upload the control name dot has file so it has if it has file so we have to insert it into the, that folder that we just created that image folder file name equal to part dot get file name so for path we need what system dot io as a namespace so it, it is going to give us the path to get file name file upload dot posted file dot file name so it is going to give us the name of the file along with the path to file path equal to server dot map path so where we are going to store it in the images folder inside the root directory plus with what name with the name the file path file name or we can modify it here also file upload one dot save as file name one file file path so we are going to save it so let's put a breakpoint here and try to debug suppose I choose PDF so it says invalid in, invalid for image which is correct and it is emptied so now if I choose any kind of like suppose this file which has a dot jpg extension and button so here we are going in the debug mode so you see here I'm in the breakpoint so I do F10 and see the file name so file name is dot jpg so it is correct so it has a file file this and it is now saving in the in this folder so and now let's check for that folder so we are going to open the folder and see there is one file so this is the recently inserted image so this is how we can do the client side validation and after that we are going to the server and and saving it in the server what basically I have done here is I have created so what I have done is I have done nothing but on the client click I have uh, I tried to go to this method to check for the extension that is done on the client side so this is going to give me the name of the file and I checked for the file if it is empty then we have to do nothing we just return false else we have to check for the extension so I'm using this string substring function of the string and to get the param to get the extension type and uh, the file name is as per our 
type it is good for saving otherwise we are alerting invalid file name for images message and we are returning false so that's it thanks for watching